Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to set up your Xiaomi router. And before starting, if this video helps, please support me. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below. So, first thing you need to do is turn on the router. Take the power adapter. Plug one end into an outlet. And the other into the router. When the router is powered on, the light will turn on. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. Next, connect the cable from your broadband provider or from your modem to a special internet port. This port usually has a different color and labeled as WAN. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks. Now you need to reset the router to the factory settings. Press and hold the reset button on the router for 10 seconds. Until the indicator lights on the router begin to flash. Sometimes this button is located inside the router casing to avoid accidental pressing. In this case, use a thin object to press on it. The router will reboot and the settings will return to the factory defaults. Insert one end of the Ethernet cable that comes with the router into one of the Ethernet port. And D the other into your computer's Ethernet port. Please wait a few minutes for connection. The router is now connected to your computer. Now you need to set it up. But first, I will show you another method for connecting the router if you do not have an Ethernet cable or your computer does not have an Ethernet port. Connect the router to the power adapter and cable from your internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi. If the router is new and has never been configured, the Wi-Fi network will have the name of your router. Your router has its own Wi-Fi network name and password printed on a sticker. Connect to it. Great, you've connected to the router. Now let's start setting it up. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning you will see a form with a login and password. Usually it is admin and admin. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log in to the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. So, on the first page right here, you need to select the router language. I'll leave English. Next, check these boxes right here. And click here to select your country or region. If you don't see your country, you can choose any option. Once you've selected your country, click Next. and then click the button Try It Now. On the next page, the router will try to detect your internet connection type. Usually, it detects it correctly. So just click the next button. But if you want to select the connection type manually, then click right here. 
You can find this information in your contract with your internet provider. However, in most cases, the router automatically detects the connection type correctly. By the way, here you can set up your router as an access point. But that's a topic for another video. Once you've chosen your connection type, click the next button. On the next page, you need to set the name and password for your Wi-Fi network. In this field, type the network name. And in this field, type the network password. To see what you are typing, click right here. The password must be at least eight characters long. This password will also be used to log in to the router's admin panel. If you want to set a separate password for the router's admin panel, uncheck this box right here and enter a password for the admin panel. For a better experience, automatically upgrade the firmware version for you when the router is idle. To do this, check this box right here and click the next button. Wait about half a minute. On this page, you will see all your router's details. It is recommended to save a screenshot of your Wi-Fi password below. If you were connected to the router via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the network using the new settings. For the settings to take effect, you need to reboot the router. To do this, go to the router's admin panel using the new credentials. Then click right here and select Reboot. Click the Reboot Router button and click OK. Wait a couple of minutes for the router to fully restart. Now check if the internet is working, just try Googling something. If there's no internet connection, you need to try cloning your MAC address. To do this, log back into the router's admin panel. Go to the settings menu. Then network settings. And here in the MAC address clone section, click the clone button. and reboot the router again. Wait a couple of minutes for the router to fully restart. Now check if the internet is working, just try Googling something. If the internet still doesn't work, at this point you need to call your internet provider. They will tell you exactly what type of connection you need and what additional parameters to set. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below.